All right, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Dokkan battle video. So last night, both Global and JP got data downloads. And in today's video, we're gonna be checking out everything that was added to the game, as well as everything we can expect to get for part three of the worldwide celebration, which might be starting as early as later tonight. But we'll get to that in a second. Now, first things first, before we jump into it, I do want to give a big shout out to my guy Proton10MG on Twitter for posting all of these assets to his timeline. If you guys aren't following him right now, then make sure to go ahead and, you know, do that once you finish watching this video. So from there, let's start with the assets for the new free-to-play youth Oob, who's going to be available through some new stages added to the Boo Saga story event. And this right here is his SSR form. And once you Dokkan Awaken him, this will be his TUR form. And of course he has Dokkan Awakening medals, which are these right here. This is the global one, and this is the JP one. And then after you Dokkan Awaken him, he also has an Extreme Z Awakening. So these are his Extreme Z Awakening medals, which can be obtained through a new stage added to the Boo Saga Extreme Z area event, where we also got the medals for Super Saiyan 3 Goku and Hercule and Boo. So there we go and for anybody that's curious about his details after extreme z awakening we will get to it later on in this video so these are the global medals and these are the jp medals of course same thing just different text and we also are going to be getting seven new loading screens which will be available once part three officially begins so we have one for super saiyan 3 go tanks this one's for vegeta one for goku uh, Vegito right here, and then we have Goku and Oob, uh, some Boos right here, and also Ultimate Gohan. Now the weird thing to me is that every single time we get these for these major celebrations, it's always at the end of the celebration, right? Just like during the 5 year anniversary, we got those loading screens after we got to part 3, where you know most people already were checked out, we were already done with the celebration essentially, so why not just give it to us at the very beginning so we can see it throughout the entire celebration you know like it's not a huge deal it doesn't really matter but it was just always weird to me but anyways these are here to signify that the worldwide celebration is almost over which might not be a bad thing for a lot of people because i know people are uh, generally not huge fans of this year's download slash worldwide celebration uh about a week and a half ago i did make a video talking about just how disappointed i was in part one because it was just so lacking in content and uh in that video i did call it one of the worst major celebrations we've had in a long time although i did make it clear that they had a chance to kind of turn things around and redeem it in part two and part three but at this point i'm not really sure if they really did i mean like i said i'll make a video about it later on to give you guys my overall thoughts but uh, let me know in the comments down below right now how you guys feel about this year's worldwide celebration after part one and part two are essentially over we're getting to part three now but uh, i don't expect too much to come from part three so this is essentially the celebration and uh yeah it's not it's not the greatest in my opinion once again let me know what you guys think in the comments okay so there are the loading screens for global uh, here are the jp ones exactly the same thing except with some japanese text on the logo and uh, we can take a look at them again. They are pretty dope, but like I said, man, they should have been here the entire time, you know? And uh, we are also getting a new wallpaper, and this one might actually be a global first wallpaper because Proton specifically said Kid Buu versus Super Saiyan 3 Goku wallpaper for global. And if it wasn't a global first, then why would he say for global, right? So. I'm thinking this is a global first wallpaper. I could be wrong. I could be wrong, but uh, it's a Super Saiyan 3 Goku versus Kid Buu wallpaper. Pretty dope. Kind of like the, uh, you know, Vegito versus Amasu one and the Broly versus Gogeta one. So that's pretty nice. And uh, we are also getting some new stages, of course, some new maps for the new story stages. So that's for, I believe this is for stage 9. This is for stage 10. Yo, every single stage should just be like this, okay? Every single story stage should just be a straight line. Just keep it simple. Like, why do we gotta make turns all that stuff, man? Just 
it's making a straight line nobody really cares about like going through the map anyways so i feel like every single story stage should just be, be like this honestly anyways that's just my opinion and uh, this is the new map for the uh, oob extreme z area stage and uh, we're also getting some more story assets for the new story stages so here is a bald hercule here's some youth oobs of course some of these are pretty familiar they're already in the game i believe maybe just like hd versions and uh, here's some pans uh, i think the only new one is this one this might be new as well not really sure but either way some some kid pans another kid pan uh, a new goku uh, this guy is either bloody tiger or wild tiger i've seen him called both before to me he looks like a short nappa with hair but uh that's that's a new boss right there uh some other assets from uh the end of z as you can see and uh, also a new flying away aura thing going on here so uh those are essentially all the assets that were added to both sides of the game through the data download and uh, as you can see he says kid boo versus super saiyan 3 goku wallpaper for global so that leads me to believe that leads me to believe it is a global first wallpaper not really sure why that would be the case but um that's what it seems like at least uh, of course extreme z area majin buu saga level 3 uh showdown the ultimate final battle levels 9 and 10 that's the story event uh new loading screens and free to play fizz oob uh, Awakening Metal and Extreme Z Awakening Metal. So from there, let's pop over to Dokkan uh, or DBZ Space. And uh, as you can see, the release time for the free to play OOB is tonight at 10 p.m. Pacific Daylight Time, right? Or uh, it would be tomorrow, the 25th, at 1 a.m. Eastern Daylight Time for, for me. But that should be the beginning. Of part three so like i said man it's very very soon in fact i'll probably be releasing this video around 2 p.m so if you guys are watching this video around the time that uh you know it drops then we are we're like 10 hours away or 11 hours away from the beginning of part three i'll try my best to be live as soon as that as soon as that happens i'm not really sure what my schedule is going to look like i do have to be somewhere very early tomorrow but uh, if not, then I'll be streaming tomorrow afternoon. Either way, look out for that stream. And uh, yeah, part three is coming, guys. Very, very, very soon. And let's quickly talk about the details for this new Extreme Z Awakened Youth Oob before we go. He is a very good free-to-play unit, just like the Super Saiyan 3 Goku and the Hercule and Boo. So post Extreme Z Awakening, his leader skill is Earthlings category key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 77%, or Fizz types key plus 3, HP attack and defense plus 50%. Super attack raises attack, and this can be stacked for 99 turns, and it's 30% every single time, and causes supreme damage with a medium chance of stunning the enemy. His passive is key plus 1, attack and defense plus 30% at the start of each turn, E up to 4, and attack and defense up to 120%, plus an additional attack plus 100% within the same turn after receiving an attack. Guards against all attacks when there is a world tournament category enemy or an enemy whose name includes Goku, Youth, Captain Ginyu, Junior, etc. excluded. So like I said, overall a very good free to play unit. Um, he's not quite as good as I thought he was when I first saw the details because I believe the initial translation I saw on Twitter said that it would be guard against all attacks when there is a world tournament category ally. So of course, not enemy, ally would have been much better because obviously you could you have control over that, right? You can actually bring um, other world tournament units on your team to activate this guard. But unfortunately, it's enemy, which means that it's much more situational than you would like it to be or i would like to i would like it to be but he's still not bad he's still still definitely a good free to play unit but i don't think he's as good as the super saiyan 3 goku or the hercule and boo i could be wrong just on paper he doesn't seem as good but he still seems very solid um i will have to test him out once he becomes available in the game uh, which won't be, you know, too far off. So we'll see. But uh, yeah, he does seem very good, just in my opinion, from what I can see right now, not as good as Hercule and Boo 
and uh, Goku, uh, Super Saiyan 3 Goku. And his links are Infighter, Tough as Nails, uh, World Tournament Reborn, Revival, Berserker, uh, Supreme Power, and Shattering the Limit. The categories are World Tournament, Resurrected Warriors, Majin Buu Saga, Youth, Bond of Master and Disciple, and Earthlings. Okay, so is there anything else I need to see here? Oh yes, okay, so his additional attack plus 100% is calculated separately for a total boost of 340% attack after being attacked starting from the fourth turn so of course you gotta build up that entire passive here first and then you add the 100 percent attack and the final calculation works out to 340 percent attack after taking an attack which is pretty insane he's going to be doing good damage defensively i think he's going to be okay but if he's not getting the guard against all attacks then he's not going to be that impressive like defensively but if you are facing a world tournament enemy or a enemy that has Goku in its name, then he's going to be very good defensively. Um, so yeah, good free to play unit. I'm excited for him. Definitely going to farm him out as soon as I can. And uh, as far as other stuff we can expect for part uh, three of the worldwide celebration, I don't think there's going to be too much. I think there might be a new world tournament for both sides because it kind of fits the theme, you know, so that'd be kind of cool. Uh, aside from that, I mean, Maybe a new stage for Infinite Dragon Ball History, but I doubt it because we probably would have seen some assets, you know, in this data download, so probably not. Um, yeah, it's hard to say, man. I don't think we're going to be getting a traditional Extreme Z Awakening, like a 120 lead, or even like a Mass Sand or something like that, just because we probably would have gotten assets for it as well in this data download. So, uh, as I've said previously, uh, I think that... Part 3 is going to be fairly tame. It's just going to be like, you know, the oob essentially, his Extreme Z Awakening. Maybe one extra surprise like a world tournament, but uh, no new units, uh, no new summonable unit, no new uh, Extreme Z Awakening, no new um, banner, anything like that. And that's going to be part 3, guys, and that's pretty much going to be the end of the worldwide celebration. Um, hopefully they do surprise us with some stuff that I'm not expecting, but I kind of doubt it. I'm just not super optimistic at this point, but, uh, let me know in the comments, guys, if you guys think we're gonna have anything, you know, crazy pop up or any surprises. Um, either way, we'll find out very soon, because, like I said, part three should be starting in about 11 hours after this video drops. Maybe, uh, you know, we'll get something in the news before that. But uh, that's the video, guys. Once again, shout out to Proton10MG for posting all this stuff. Uh, shout out to you guys for watching. I appreciate your viewership as always. And uh, yeah, that is today's video. Let me just end this off with uh, Bald Hercule on the screen. Uh, guys, thank you once again for watching. As always, if you liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel and uh, you like what you see then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the tiger squad now and while you're at it hit that notification bell too so that youtube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content and that's it i'm out of here until next time hope you guys have a fantastic fantastic day i'm tiger with tiger uppercut media signing out